Hi everyone and welcome back to Queen G's Recipes. And today we are going to be making an easy lemon bar recipe. It is so delicious, you are going to love it. So let's go over the ingredients we'll be needing here for our base. What I have here is some sugar, flour, salt, and some softened butter at room temperature. You will also need a uh, baking dish. I am using an eight by 11 baking dish, which I have greased with some nonstick spray. And I have also lined with some parchment paper. If you would like to use a nine by nine inch dish, you can do so as well and it will work out great. You will also need your oven to be preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And for now, that's pretty much it. So let's move on to making the base of our lemon bars. Okay, so I just cut my butter in cubes just so it's easier to mix. So now what I'm going to do is add all of these ingredients, everything we need for the base, into my bowl and we are going to uh, whisk our ingredients until it forms a sort of a dough. Okay, so you want to mix your ingredients until you have a crumbly mixture, sort of. I'll show you what it will look like, if you can see here. Okay, and then you just want to take this mixture and press it into the bottom of your baking dish, your prepared baking dish. And then we are going to bake our crust at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes. Okay, so while our shortbread crust is almost finished uh, baking, we are going to work on our filling. So we are going to be making a typical lemon curd filling here. We are going to be making something a little bit different, but it is going to be wonderful. So let's go over the ingredients we will need here today. So what I have is some heavy cream here, very cold heavy cream. You will also need some egg yolks. Now I have already given mine a whisk, but you don't have to if you don't want to. Here we have some sugar, we will need the zest of one lemon, and we will need some lemon extract. And that's pretty much it, so let's move on to making our lemon filling. Okay, so the first thing we are going to do is whisk our egg yolks and our sugar, and we are going to whisk them until they are a nice, light, and fluffy um, mixture. They will turn sort of a pale color. Okay, so now we are ready to add in our uh, heavy cream and our lemon extract. What I'm going to do is add in the extract first and then put my machine on, on low speed, and slowly incorporate all of my heavy cream until I have added it all in. And then just give it a good whisk to whisk all the ingredients together. And after that, we will zest in our lemon, give our ingredients another whisk, and then we will be ready to place our mixture on top of our crust, which is already baked. It doesn't have to be cooled, so that's okay. And then we will bake our lemon bars at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and then I will let you know what they look like when they're done and how long mine was in the oven for. Okay, so my lemon bar is baked for exactly 32 minutes. Now you want to make sure that they are set in the center. That's how you know that they are completely baked. And now I left them at room temperature just as they are for about an hour and a half. You want to leave them at room temperature until they are completely cooled. And then once they are, you can place them in your fridge. Now I had mine in my fridge for about three hours and it is important that they completely set and they are nice and cold so that we can place our icing sugar on top. So now what I'm going to do is just run a knife gently on the sides here to make sure everything is loose from the pan. Um, it is very important that you grease your pan uh, so nothing sticks. 
So I will do that and then I will place it on a cutting board and I'll dust it with some icing sugar and um, then we will be ready to try one. They are so good and the filling tastes like a lemon custard. They are over the top, easy to make and you are going to love them. And that's about it, pretty easy to put together and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give us a nice big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so you will be notified every time I upload a new and delicious recipe. Share the recipe with your family and friends, and don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. The links will be in the description box below along with the recipe. And I'll see you on my next video. Take care. Bye, everyone.